Welcome back, folks. If you are thinking about moving to the vibrant city of Miami, you have come to the right place. In today's video, we'll be exploring the best neighborhoods to live in, providing you with in-depth information on each one of them. Whether you're a young professional, a family or a retiree, Miami has something for everyone. By the way, my name is Thomas Druck. I'm a realtor with eXp Realty in Miami and I'm happy to help you with all your real estate needs. Before we get started, if you have any questions on any of those neighborhoods or want a list of available properties in any of them, please don't hesitate to reach out. You will find my contact information down below in the comments and also at the end of this video. Our first stop is Coral Gables. Often referred to as the city beautiful, it's known for its Mediterranean style architecture and tree-lined streets. Coral Gables offers a unique blend of elegance and charm. It is home to the prestigious University of Miami, making it a hub for culture and academics. At the heart of Coral Gables, you will find Miracle Mile featuring upscale boutiques, restaurants and art galleries. The Biltmore Hotel, a historic landmark, is a well-known hotel featuring a world-class spa, restaurants and golf course. In terms of real estate, Coral Gables features a nice mix of affordable starter homes all the way to ultra-luxurious mansions and of course also some condos. If shopping is what you're looking for, aside from all the quaint boutiques that you'll find all over Coral Gables, there is also Merrick Park, which is a beautiful outdoor mall with lots of major national brands. Next up is South Miami, a family-friendly neighborhood with top-rated schools including South Miami Elementary and South Miami Middle. There is also Sunset Elementary, which features a magnet program that is a language-centric with currently German, uh, English and, uh, sorry, German, French and Spanish programs uh, being offered. Parks like Dante Fachel provide recreational opportunities like tennis courts and sports fields for residents. South Miami's suburban feel makes it a great choice for those looking for a quieter, more laid-back atmosphere while still being close to all the action. South Miami also features what I call its downtown area, which is right around the Sunset Place Mall that, you know, in all honesty, could use a little refurbishing and that is also in... in in discussion right now so hopefully that will be spruced up soon but uh, regardless it is a great area to hang out go get a drink uh, or grab a bite or do some shopping now let's head to coconut grove one of my personal favorites coconut grove is a bohemian paradise with a rich history you'll find eclectic shops outdoor cafes and the stunning Barnacle Historic State Park, where you can explore the historic home of Ralph Middleton Monroe. The Grove, as it's commonly referred to, is also home to the Coconut Grove Arts Festival, which is a must-visit for arts enthusiasts, showcasing works from local and international artists. The neighborhood's diverse dining scene ranges from laid-back seafood places like Monty's Raw Bar, located right on the water, to the popular Jaguar with Peruvian-inspired cuisine, all the way to the Michelin-starred Ariette. Coconut Grove also features a very active sailing community in all of its um, sailing clubs and boat clubs along the bay, like Biscayne Bay Yacht Club, Coral Reef Yacht Club and Coconut Grove Sailing Club. There is also the U.S. Sailing Center, which is where the U.S. Sailing Team trains whenever they are in Miami. Aventura is our next destination. Known for its upscale living and fantastic shopping at the Aventura Mall, one of the largest shopping centers in the United States. The Turnberry Isle Miami Resorts and Golf Club attracts luxury seekers and golf enthusiasts from all over the world with its world-class amenities and services. With the Intracoastal Waterway nearby, Aventura offers beautiful views and outdoor activities like boating and fishing. The nearby Founders Park features a splash pad and playground for families. In terms of real estate, you'll find mostly high-rise condos and a few low-rise condos and townhomes sprinkled in. 
Although if your budget allows, there are a few single family homes in Aventura as well. Of course, we can talk about Miami without mentioning Miami Beach. Miami Beach is probably the most famous of all areas in Miami because that's where all tourists go. This iconic neighborhood offers beautiful beaches, world-class nightlife and a vibrant cultural scene. South Beach in particular is famous for its Art Deco architecture and Ocean Drive's neon lights. As the name implies, South Beach is located on the southern tip of Miami Beach. Lincoln Road Mall is a shopper's paradise featuring trendy boutiques, art galleries and dining options. Miami Beach is also home to the Bass Museum of Art and the historic Art Deco District, offering guided tours of its iconic Art Deco buildings. South Beach offers you a variety of real estate options, from ultra-luxurious high-rises to smaller Art Deco buildings and even a few single-family homes. There is something for almost every budget and taste. If you prefer a more serene island lifestyle, Key Biscayne might be right up your alley. This island paradise is just a short drive from downtown or Brickell and offers pristine beaches, parks and outdoor activities. Crandon Park is perfect for picnics, paddleboarding and kiteboarding. While the Bill Bags Cape Florida State Park boasts a historic lighthouse and walking trails with stunning Atlantic Ocean views, the Key Biscayne Yacht Club and the Ritz Carlton provide luxurious amenities for visitors and residents alike. In terms of real estate, you will find a nice mix of single-family homes and condos. However, please keep in mind that Key Biscayne is for the discerning buyer and definitely not a budget option in any case. The next location is technically two different neighborhoods, but I will put them together since they're um, basically in the same area, very close together. It just makes it easier. What we are talking about is Morningside and the Upper East Side. If you're looking for a neighborhood with rich history and a tight-knit community, both Morningside and the Upper East Side are great options for you. These areas are known for their historic homes, lush gardens, huge green space like Morningside Park, for example, which is located right along Biscayne Bay. Another popular area on the Upper East Side is Belmead, which is a gated, well, quote-unquote gated community of little historic homes with a park and a playground. Those are all popular areas and are great options for all kinds of people. Morningside and Belmead consists of majority of single family homes with very few condo options. There are, however, some condo buildings uh, throughout the Upper East Side in case single family home is not what you're looking for. Another thing that uh, you'll find is that there's a lot of uh, quirky little um, eateries and hip new spots, bars, all kinds of things. So in terms of entertainment, you're definitely in a great place. Working our way back down south again, on our way to downtown, we'll have the neighborhood of Edgewater. Edgewater consists of mostly high-rise condos, with many of them located along Biscayne Bay, offering stunning water views and views of Miami Beach in the distance. Easy access to popular areas like the Design District and Wynwood make Edgewater a great choice. In recent years, Edgewater has become a trendy neighborhood with a growing food scene and lots of options including waterfront dining at Amara at Paraiso. Margaret Pace Park is perfect for outdoor activities like tennis, volleyball and it also features a dog park for pet lovers. Another great feature of Edgewater is its proximity to the Adrian Arsch Center for the Performing Arts. Just south of Edgewater, you'll find the next neighborhood, downtown. And by the way, if you find this information useful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. All right, back to the neighborhoods. I'm personally a fan of downtown because it offers lots of nice condo options for various budgets with some of the best views you can find in Miami at still affordable prices. Recreational activities in downtown include the Perez Museum of Arts, the Frost Science Museum, again just north of downtown, you'll have the Arsch Center that was mentioned um, in the last segment about Edgewater, and you have also other options like the Bayside Marketplace, which is kind of a touristy mall, but still sometimes nice to go grab a drink and sit by the water. Also inside Bayfront Park, you'll find the amphitheater, offering frequent concerts and outdoor events. Another great amenity of downtown is the Metromover, 
which is one of the few public transportation options we have available in Miami, and it's free. The Metro Uber can take you to our next neighborhood, which is Brickell. Now, last but not least, the Brickell area is home to the bustling financial district of Miami. While you might not be interested in the financial district per se, there are a multitude of dining and shopping options, such as Brickell City Center and Mary Brickell Village. Brickell also has many high-rises, some older and more affordable, and some brand new and very luxurious. Just like downtown, you can find great views, and in my opinion, if you're in the heart of Brickell, you are in the only area in Miami where you get the true big city feeling, being surrounded by skyscrapers with lots of energy and the feeling that you'll never run out of things to do. That's it for today. These were the 10 best neighborhoods in Miami. Of course, that is all subjective. There are many other neighborhoods that would deserve a mention, but I did not want to make this video any longer. Please stay tuned for more content and I will be sure to cover some of the other neighborhoods that did not make it into this video today. Thanks for tuning in today. And again, please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.